present the topic kinematics of class 6 now today i am going to introduce the topic kinematics before going to the introduction we have to know what is physics physics is nothing but the study of laws in the nature now whatever is the laws in the nature if we study about that then that comes under physics now we have different uh, topics in the physics okay first one is optics sound magnetism electricity like this we have many different topics now in this we are going to select the mechanics first mechanics mechanics is the branch of physics mechanics is the branch of physics which deals with motion of the object now mechanics is again divided into three types that is first one is kinematics second one dynamics third one statics now we all know that now I, now i am going to explain all the terms here now kinematics kinematics is the branch of physics which deals with the motion of the object kinematics is the branch of physics which deals with motion of the object now here when we are dealing with kinematics we are not going to consider the cause of motion okay now when we are going to the dynamics it is also branch of physics dynamics is the branch of physics which deals with the motion of the body with considering cause of motion and the last one is statics statics is the branch of physics which deals with the object when it is at rest statics is the branch of physics which deals with the object at rest now we are going to learn all the terms which are related to kinematics now the first term which is related to kinematics is point object it is point object what is nothing a point object now we are considering a body and which is moving a particular distance now if the size of the body is very small when compared to the distance traveled by it then that is called point object if the size of the object is very small when considered to the distance traveled by it then this that is called as point object the size of the object is very small when 
Now next one is reference point. Reference point is nothing but with respect to what position the object is considered to be moving. Now that is called as reference point or it is also called as fixed point. The point, the reference point or fixed point The reference point or fixed point is the with is that with respect to, to to which the point object is moving and the next is rest whenever the when we can say that the object is in rest let us suppose if we consider a point object and with reference to the reference point with respect to the reference point if it is at rest or that means uh, it is not changing its position with respect to, to the reference point then we can say that the object is in rest now the object is considered to be at rest when it does not changes its position with respect to fixed point that is let us consider an example let us suppose a car is moving on the road now let us suppose there is a tree beside a tree here now actually with respect to this tree if the car is not changing its position then we can say that the object is at rest okay now motion the object is considered to be at mo in motion when it does it changes its position with respect to, to the fixed point the object is said to be in motion changes its position with respect to, to fixed point or some let us suppose we will take an example here also now this is my dream on the road and there is a car when time t is equals to 10 am it is at this position now the time passes the car moves and reaches this point when the time t is equals to 10, 10 o'clock 10 minutes the, po the position of the car is displaced and it is changing its position with respect to this tree. So we can say that the car is in motion. And here the important point is, the important point is, let us suppose there is one more person who is sitting in the car along with the driver. Along with the driver. 
if i consider if i consider the reference point as tree i can say that the person in the car is moving the person in the car is moving if i consider the person in the car the driver as the reference point then i can say that the person who is sitting beside the driver is at rest so at the same time a object can be either in motion or in rest with respect to, to while considering the while considering the reference point now so we can say that rest and motion are relative terms okay they are depending upon what surroundings we are consider as reference point so motion and rest are related so we can say that at the same time at the same time an object can be at rest as well as in motion when considering with different fixed points now we are going to the topic distance distance is the actual path covered by the object distance is the actual path covered by the let us suppose an object is traveling from the point o and it reached the point b and after that it reached the point b now what is the distance traveled by the object the distance traveled by the object is oa plus ab this is the actual path covered by the object distance is a scalar quantity it has only magnitude it does not have any direction distance is a scalar quantity units of distance are in si si units it is meter in cgs unit it is centimeter now we are going to the displacement displacement is the shortest path covered by the object displacement is the shortest path by the out now we consider the same example as above now the object initially starting from the position o and reached a then finally it reached to the position b now the distance here will be oa plus a but the displacement here will be now this is the starting point or initial point and this is the final so what is the shortest path between the initial point and the final point that will be the displacement curve so when we draw a straight line between initial point and final point we will get the displacement we will get the displacement so the displacement here is ob distance here is oa plus ab now this is the displacement curve now say this displacement is a vector quantity it has both magnitude and direction displacement is a vector quantity units of displacement are same as that of the distance now 
this is all about the topic which we can which which is taught today and if you have any doubts please com please give com in comment section thank you